Diane Sawyer. Good evening. It's hard to believe this is happening in America, but ABC News has learned that the number of women who die during childbirth in America is increasing. California reports that it tripled in the last 10 years, and it crosses social and economic lines and raises questions about some cesarean sections. Tonight, the United States ranks behind 33 countries, places like Slovakia and Cyprus, on maternal survival. And Kate Snow has been investigating this story for weeks. Kate. Good evening, Diane. The latest evidence is a report that was commissioned by the California Department of Health that actually hasn't been made public yet. It is the largest review ever conducted by a state of actual deaths. And we learned about it from a watchdog group called California Watch. The key finding, as you say, the number of women who die within 42 days of giving birth has nearly tripled over a decade. These are the faces of mothers who will never know their newborn babies. It's unbelievable that in our country today, people, can, people still die of childbirth. Like, I had no idea that anything like that could have happened when we went to the hospital that Friday morning. Jim Skythe's wife, Valerie, was one of the growing number of American women who schedule a C-section. But afterwards, Jim says she was never encouraged to walk around. He noticed her legs felt hard. She sat in her bed for 30 hours after her surgery and, and then got herself up and collapsed on the floor. A blood clot in her leg had moved to her brain and caused a stroke. I look at Isabella. And I just think you're never going to know firsthand how wonderful your mother was. We haven't seen these rates of maternal death since the 70s. Uh, you don't expect childbirth outcomes to go backward. The causes are complex. One in five women are now obese when they get pregnant. And that means more mothers with pre-existing conditions like diabetes or asthma that can cause complications in the delivery room. And yes, the growing number of women planning C-sections is a factor. C-sections put a woman at higher risk for infection and other complications of major surgery. And if a mother has multiple C-sections, she's at greater risk for internal bleeding. There's concern the number of deaths is rising nationwide, so much that last month the group that accredits hospitals put out an internal alert. We talked to the head of that organization by Skype. How is that possibly acceptable in this nation? The rate of maternal death today is not acceptable in the United States. We need to work much harder than we have been to reduce it. If I hear this report that the numbers are maybe going up, I want to know who's going to change it. Individual hospitals are responsible to make sure that they follow uh, recommendations for making this event much less likely. Hospitals can risk their accreditation when women die, but no one keeps track of how many hospitals are actually taking steps to prevent deaths. These are all wake-up calls across the country that we need to do things differently. Raise your feet up a little bit. At Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, they are. These $14 inflatable boots that help prevent blood clots are standard for women who've had a C-section. Why wouldn't every hospital across the country do that? I think either a lack of recognition that it could be helpful um, or a lack of resources. Cost? Or Possibly. A lot of what they're doing at Mount Sinai costs nothing. Better communication, training, medical staff, all trying to make sure this is how the story ends. We should point out these deaths are not common. We're talking about 95 women dying in California in a year out of a half a million births. And some experts do worry that the increase nationwide may be a product of the way that deaths are now being reported. But Diane, the doctors who worked on the California study say even if they account for that, the number is spiking. And so what are prospective parents to be doing and asking? Right. This is so important. First of all, doctors say avoid any unnecessary intervention. That means avoid inducing labor, avoid a C-section if you possibly can. Those are definitely risk factors. If you have to have a C-section, ask for the boots. Why not? And uh, the lesson that Jim touched on is if you see something that seems wrong, say something. Point it out to your doctors. Okay, Kate, I know there'll be more on this story. And as we continue to follow it, we hope to hear more of your stories. Log on. Our website's abcnews.com.